What's going on guys? Alan here. Welcome back to another Foreskin video on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about whether or not you need a spreadsheet or not. I get a lot of questions on this um, about where do you get the spreadsheets and this and that. Um, and I, I've got a few videos on Foreskin. So, um, you know, I don't mention it in every one of them, but you can find all the info you need to at Foreskin.org. Um, there you will you just go ahead and watch my startup video um, you got to register and everything once you get accepted you can go into the forums search for spreadsheets but if you download it get permission you know from you get approved from the administrator or whatever um, like I show you in that video and you get your activation and you activate your software you do not necessarily need a spreadsheet now first thing we're going to talk about spreadsheet the spreadsheet here gives you all the number blocks and what changing certain numbers in those blocks will do. Um, you know, you can turn off your seatbelt minders, your door jar. You can change the, you know, the startup screens on your vehicle. I mean, literally, daytime running lamps, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. And all that stuff is on my videos. Um, but people look to these spreadsheets right here for that. Um, and you don't necessarily need to do that. It's all going to depend on the program and your vehicle. Um, and by that, I mean you might just be able to do it with the software and a laptop right here. Um, so let's dive into it a little more, and I will show you what that's all about. All right, guys, we are ready to go out here. So I will show you right now what I mean by the uh, not needing a spreadsheet necessarily, depending on what you do and your vehicle. All right, so I got my keys in here, ready to go, because it's touchless. Because um, you gotta have the ignition on. And I got the laptop ready to go. So I'm gonna plug in my USB. Like so, and then on my um, ELM adapter here, I uh, marked high and medium, because I forgot one day and it wasn't working so I just decided to take a sharpie and label them so plug that guy in and for note it is on high speed right now so we'll go into the software come down the corner and connect and then she says make sure your ignition key is on and the high speed medium speed switch is in high speed and obviously make sure the vehicle is not moving so, it is in high speed, verified that. Click the ignition on. Ooh, click, okay. Starts doing a bunch of stuff. Here's your profile, yes, that is my profile right there. Starts reading all the modules. Put it in high speed, or medium speed, medium speed. So. That's what we'll do. Click. Click. Yes, I do have a couple DTCs and I gotta find out what those are, but not today. So, okay. Read along over here. Where's my mouse? I'm trying to see this on the camera too. Okay. Microchip right here. I'm going to that. Now let's just go into the body control module. So that guy's gonna go, that guy's gonna be right here. So most everybody who uses a spreadsheet comes into here to the as built. So let's see what that looks like. So we're gonna select the body control manual, man, body control module right there for as built. And then we will go down here and hit play. Um, and then it wants to make sure it's in high speed. So, flip it back to high speed. Click OK. Changing information is potentially unsafe. Yes, I know. So 
So these here are all the blocks where you can, you what you do, you know, you read your spreadsheet here. Let's take one for example um, for the body control module. Um, Bambi mode, Bambi mode, right here. Ability to do fog lights and high beams at the same time. Body control manual. I don't know why I can't say that today. Module. So we're looking at blocks 726, 2701. And basically what you do there is in this third block of numbers here, you'd enter a zero. <clears throat> That's in the as belt. So let's just say we're going to do that, but let's not. So I can show you the difference. So we'll hit stop. That takes us out of there. And then I will go back up here to the configuration and programming. And now this time, instead of going to the as built, we are going to go to the module configuration and check that out. And then back down here to play. Reading all the blocks. Okay, now check this out, guys. These are all settings that you can do without a spreadsheet, okay? Focus. Um, so we were talking, I don't know. Okay, here, double honk. Double honk. I have the fob, I have the keyless, you know, the push button start. So down here, this double honk right here, um, what happens if is your vehicle is running and you hop out of it and shut the door, it honks twice at you. Scares the bejesus out of you. But let's just say we wanted to disable that. Mine's already disabled. It says it right here. But say it's not. Okay? So you click on that. Edit. Selected. Right here comes up a window. Look. Enable or disable. It's as easy as that. You don't need a spreadsheet for this kind of stuff. So, I mean, it could make it easy. And then you don't have to mess anything up. The program does it for you. And these are why these people work so hard on this program. Um, so, yeah. I already have it disabled. But if you didn't, you would select the, you know, disabled, then the check mark. And then you'd come down here into the corner and go right. And then OK the warnings. And then it would change it for you. It's as easy as that. Easy, easy, easy. But, we're going to back out of it. Because, I don't need it. I just wanted to show you guys the difference. So, now I'm going to stop it. And then I'm going to go back up to the... Like I said, if you haven't seen this, check out my other videos. Come on, camera. Usually I do just screen recordings of this. It makes it a lot easier. So then down at the bottom here. I can find my mouse. My mouse is gone. There it is. I'm just going to do the disconnect. And it's done. Done. Alright guys, so as you've seen, it can be easy. If you just use the program um, and your option is in there that you want to change, change it that way. The computer does it for you. That way you don't have to worry about changing the wrong digit, messing stuff up when you reset, restart your car and everything else. So. Um, try it. I mean, I did that on the Fusion. If you see my Fusion video, I enabled the daytime running lights. I um, I changed the flasher count with that. Um, and actually, in another video on this guy right here, I'm going to change my PowerPoint on this um, to like one minute. Um, if you don't know what that is, that is um, <clears throat> how long your outlets stay on after you shut your ignition off. Um, so anyway, hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, try it. It's it's a no-brainer. Um, but if you like typing in all that stuff, some of them, some of it, you still have to type it in. So, um, but either way, hopefully this helps you guys out. And until next time, I'll see you later. Later. Oh, it's a close-up. Oh, geez, I don't want that.